Greetings, Eric Becker. Thanks for tuning in to my channel today. I've got an email here from a person called Kingpin. Um, isn't it interesting how people come up with these names? So Kingpin, and Kingpin is saying, So you're not a medical doctor and therefore have no understanding of the human body and diseases. Channels like yours on YouTube will eventually be shut down as the world cannot abide by sheer quackery. Well, that's great. I don't mind that at all. You know, they can shut the channel down. I'm not sure if they'll do that, though, but um, they're quite strong words, Mr. Kingpin, you know, using words like quackery and, and things like that. So I get this quite often, and I've I've had this, you know, many times over in my career, working with patients now for a long time now, and I get told I'm a quack, but I also get invited to speak um, at various medical conferences, you know, in front of three or four hundred doctors. So maybe they like hearing people quacking in front of them, I don't know, but... Uh, when you get invited to speak at, at different venues like I have, and you know, have a lot of distinguished friends, uh, professors and people in quite high places who see you as a colleague, uh, when you work in medical clinics of quite high standing, maybe their standards are slipping and they allow quacks and ducks in there, I don't know, but I've never considered myself a quack. I studied for seven years, I did a lot of training, I, I did the training up to university level with a medical health science degree, uh, but I'm still seen as a quack. That's okay. Uh, you're always going to get this from people. My interests are not really in placating to needs of people like Kingpin, you know, trying to explain why I do the things I, I do or the results I get. I couldn't care less what people like this think. I never have. My interests are with sick people and helping people that have been sick for a long time, in particular chronic cases, people that have been tossed to the curb, people that have gone from one doctor to another. Uh, these are the cases I've worked with now for many years. These people don't call me a quack. Uh, it doesn't interest me. And like a, like a duck, I try and let this stuff roll off my back. Because if I had to respond to every little insult I get like this, I'd probably be in tears right now. So you tend to develop quite a tough skin when you're an integrated medical person like I am. And you often get this. Some of my um, esteemed colleagues... Uh, are called snake oil peddlers uh, for that same reason because they're interested in natural medicine but you would be surprised kingpin how many medical doctors i've helped to convert into natural medicine doctors surely through the results of working together in a clinic and and these doctors seeing what kind of results we could achieve with the methods that i recommend i've had many doctors now convert into natural medicine doctors i'm very happy to say that so maybe the quackery is extending. We're getting ducks running all over the place. Isn't that great? So I hope this video stays up long enough for one day to someone to look at it <clears throat> to say, well, back then we were very judgmental about people that were recommending natural ways of healing, people that weren't recommending drugs that make people sick and kill people. You know, This guy had the foresight to know that You know, way back then in 2018. So who knows? So... Thanks for the um, thanks for the comment, Kingpin. I appreciate all comments.